So here's three spoons I bought as a package at the thrift store for $3.99, which is pretty good because they're like $1.99 or $2.99 at, at the dollar store. And these ones are thicker and bigger. You got more depth to carve. Here's a spatula I bought at Walmart for, what was it, $1.97? Canadian. I'm in Canada, everybody, British Columbia. So we're not going to carve this today. Most of the spoons that you buy from the dollar store in this one is bamboo. So this is uh, bamboo. I'm not too sure the type of wood this is. Now, this really isn't going to be a full-on carving video. I'm going to, you can carve whatever you want. Like, um, you can carve trees up here. You can carve tomatoes. You can carve flowers. You can carve friggin' dolphins. You can carve monsters. You can carve whatever you want. Tomato. Did I say tomato? Potato, tomato. Um, I think you can see somebody made this in a shop. This is pretty vintage. It's all scuffed up and stuff like that. So, now do you want to clean up the whole spoon or what do you want to do? Um, I think for this one, I'm going to carve some wood spirits the way I do and blend them in here together. You know, you can make it so these are that people don't use them. They just hang them up and they, they're a display. That's what this is things for is to hang them up, put some string in there, duh. From, I speak for myself, duh. So I think on this one here, we're going to draw on some wood spirits and carve them. Now, this isn't really going to be a carving video. This is just going to give you guys ideas what to do. Um, you know, this is the bigger one out of the three. So, you know, it would be pretty neat to carve a tree on here, a little tree. And then do the wood spirit on the smaller one. I think this might this stuff might be oak actually. This is what you you know when you're buying wood from the foreign from the, the thrift stores, you don't know that's just how you can get yourself some foreign wood. So here's our center line. Um, let's put our first first wood spirit. Um, okay, let's put our first head here. Eyes here, nose, and our mustache. Like I like to do, like that. Bring it around. Then this one, this mustache can come down like this. You know, you can carve wood spirits all the way down here if you want. Now this one. We'll make it um, a bit sl slanted. So this one, the center line would be like this. Now let me get some better lighting here because I don't like this um, shadowing effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's that. Our eyes here. And... Um, when you get into stuff like this, it's just it's just fun. And then, oh, oops, connect the mustache right here. I know I got all this marks on here. It's hard to see kind of what's going on. Boom, boom. So we got a wood spear here and a wood spear here. Now, like I said, this isn't going to be a full full on carving video. I kind of want to make this a short video, but just to help you guys with ideas, what, what you can do on your spoons. You, they, you know, these, I think, like, if I carve this, this is a $20 spoon. So, you know, you get three spoons for $3.99. So what are these, like a buck thirty-five each or something? So if you screw up, really, who cares? This is the Cutsall Taper Burr Extreme. See how it's got a pointier thing there? So let me just do a couple cuts without the fan on. And see how this this bird works. Oops, gotta turn my drum up. Also, I'm running a Dremel 4000 with the Dremel flex shaft right here, and a foot pedal, on-off foot pedal.
Yeah, so you think this this wood's not as hard as I thought it might be. But you can see there how I got the forehead sloped up. Um, this burr might be a little bit too aggressive. I might switch over to this taper burr here. See, Cutsaw has two different size taper burrs. They have the reverse cone one, and they have a, a longer, skinnier one. Now, this is the silver one. If you guys want to get these cut saws, just go down to the description below. It will take you to the cut saw site. Use the code CFUSION to save yourself 5%. So I'm going to put this one in. And um, I don't know, maybe we'll do a time lapse. Just get this kind of done. Well, this burr isn't working. It's burning the wood, so I need to find another burr, which I can quickly block out. I think so. I think it might be better to go to the extreme taper burr like this one here. This one's the more extreme. I'll try that. Good burrs for a little project like this is those miniature metalworking burrs. You get like sets of 20. So, anyways, put this burr in. So I kind of went on a carving spree, but I want to show you guys, these are aluminum cutting burrs, but those little, these are the aluminum cutters. The brand that I like is the UFO, UFO tool or whatever. These are in my um, Amazon store. All the burrs I use are in my Amazon store. But so when you buy the little metalworking burrs, it's unfortunate I don't have a pack of them, but you get 20. So just, if you can't tell for size reference, when you're looking on Amazon, just look for a case like this that has 20 in there and then they have little tiny cutters so they work good for smaller um carvings now these aluminum cutters sorry these three point cutters when you buy a set of five four or five of them they come in uh, different sizes this is the smallest one so um these get dull super fast so anyways this is basically what i these are also good for just kind of doing your cuts on the outside of your carving it's hard to carve with these these are more like um chisels because they only have three cutters on them so that's it's you got to be a experienced carver to, to be able to carve with this bit here now i'm just going to show you guys this little box i got this is different diamond burrs and i keep saying the more different burrs like i got uh here's a metal working burr right here the more burrs that you have, the, the more you're going to be able to carve different types of wood. You just got to type, like I try and said before, I think, try and find what um, type of burr works for what type of wood. It's all different. This is the sanding mandrel I sanded all my pieces with. These are in my store. I think you get the, um, I think you get like six or eight of these for like 10 bucks, I think, unless the price went up. Price probably did go up because I've been supporting these and they seem to have been selling probably lots, so they jacked the price up. Now, here's the cheap one that I bought from Walmart, a spatula. I just quickly carved and wood burned a little pumpkin, a little pumpkin, cheese. I'm sure still, it's not Halloween yet. Carved a little snowman, just wood burned around it. Like, this is, yeah, this is, you know, you could have just painted this snowman on there. And well, but it's a wood carving. It's yeah, it's cheesy as all whatever you want to say. But the thing is, people love this stuff for Christmas time. All right, it's different. It's not perfect. Like when they want to buy something like this, they want to buy something that's not perfect, that's manufactured or whatever. You got to remember, this is a wood carving. You know, I always 
even though this is just a silly little snowman I curved really quick, always sign your pieces. Always sign your pieces. I'm, I could really get into that, but I'm not going to. This is the one that I um, started carving. It's really simple. It's no, there's nothing crazy about this. You can just get some twine or whatever this stuff's called and put it on there so they can hang it. This might look good at the cabin. But um, there, I signed it. Nothing crazy about this. Really fast and simple. Like I said, you can carve whatever you want to carve. Here's another wood spirit I did. Just a really simple one. I, I think this is um, it's some type of foreign wood anyways. Might be a mahogany or um, teak. No, I just did some quick lines down there. Just same with this one. Just to give it some more. These kind of lines right here are my favorite things to carve. Like that. It's It's relaxing for me. So this one I just kind of went crazy and very simple wood spirit, but effective. Anything you carve on these spoons is effective. There again, I signed it. And here's the last one I did, just a little tree. And some more lines down there. You can see it, like I didn't even really sand it. There's still, these marks are from the first person that made these spoons. He didn't even really sand them too well. This kind of left them rough. So this is, once again, I signed it. So, you know, you don't have to do wood spirits. For me, they're always big sellers. You can do whatever you want to do with your spoons or your spatulas or whatever you get. Um, and I think it's so much better because all the stuff, most of the stuff you buy now is junk. In the stores, it's all made in China or what? we Mexico or whatever. Much people would much rather have a handmade Christmas gift. You know, even this. If I gave this to my auntie Jody or my sister, or some girl, she would she would absolutely love it. For it's a Christmas time, they have family get-togethers. A hundred percent, this would get pulled out. I don't know, like to put in your potato things or something like that. I don't know. But just, I don't know what else I can say besides have fun and carve what you want. Do you know what I mean? Like, just, if you're not carving, like, I ca myself, I should carve bears, and yeah, you know, I should carve diff a whole bunch of different stuff. But I always kind of just carve what I want. Because if I'm not carving what I want to carve, the truth is, I'm not really having fun. Was I having fun with these? Yes, I was. Because I carved what I wanted to carve. Anyways, everybody, I'm babbling here. Um, so I got to think of a Christmas um, challenge. And um, anyways, be well.